Welcome to Nutrition 101. I'm Dr. Ken Tudor, the dog dietitian. How much do I feed my adult dog? Well, that is not a straightforward question because there's many factors that come into play. One is the instructions on labels or websites for commercial dog food are way too generous and tend to overfeed the dog. The second part of this problem is that nutritionists do not agree on the formulas for calculating the number of calories per day for a dog. There are three that are available and each one comes up with a different number. The other challenge to feeding an adult dog is that for different stages of their life they need different amounts of food. Different times of year they need different amounts of food. An unneutered active dog needs much more calories than our neutered couch potato dog. And your dog needs less calories in the winter when they're less active and more calories in the summer when they are active. So we need to keep all this in mind when we decide how much to feed an adult dog. So let's do that. By far the easiest way is to follow the instructions on the label or the website. As I mentioned, the dog food instructions on commercial dog food are way too generous. They are for more taxing life stages of the dog. In other words, they're fashioned for active, unneutered dogs or pregnant and lactating dogs. So you always want to feed at the lower end of the recommendation. If the recommendation says X at the bottom, at the lower end, and Y at the top end, always feed to the X because you can always make adjustments later. The other thing about the label is that you have to remember the recommendation is for the entire day, not each meal. So you want to take that amount and ideally split it in two and feed two equal meals of that amount of dog food. The third thing you need to know about the dog food label is that directions are for a measuring cup, an eight ounce measuring cup, not a beverage cup, not a coffee cup, and not a big gulp cup, but a eight ounce measuring cup. Another thing about the label is it's based on ideal weight. If your dog is slightly overweight and you're feeding according to the label instructions, you're continuing to feed your dog and maintain an overweight condition. Because ideal weights vary from dog to dog, you're going to have to check with your veterinarian and find out exactly what your dog's ideal weight is so you can feed more appropriately. And you may not know this about dog food, but there is no standardized calorie count for uh, dog food. In other words, it can vary from brand to brand. The calories can vary as much as 200 calories per cup of dry food and 100 calories per can of canned food. What this means to you as a dog owner is every time you change food, you have to change the way you feed your dog. Because if you don't, you may be feeding too little or too much. In my experience, it's always too much. And changing dog food typically leads to weight gain in owner's dogs. But these are just general guidelines. The best way to feed your dog is by following their level of fitness. And that can be done merely by looking at them. There is a visual system that allows you to look over your dog and to the side and determine that your dog is being fed at the perfect level. And I'm talking about the body condition system. It is a nine point scale where dogs are ranked accordingly. One to three indicates dogs that are not getting enough food, and so we have to increase their food. Dogs that are ranked six to nine are getting way too much food, and we need to cut back on their food. So we want to feed so our dogs maintain a perfect four to five out of nine. That way we know they're in perfect shape. How do we know that? Because this system has been compared to a very expensive x-ray technology that measures percent body fat and correlates absolutely perfectly. So by using this chart, you can keep your dog fit. If you'd like one of these charts, you can go online 
and just simply Google BCS dog chart and this will come up. Or you can contact us and we'll be more than happy to send you one. It's very important to feed to the proper BCS because we know that we can give your dog more life. There was a study done by the Ralston Purina Company that took 12 years. They looked at golden retrievers who are prone to obesity and divided their litters up into halves. One half was of the litter was allowed to eat whatever it wanted to and reach body condition score greater than five. The other half was maintained at a perfect body condition score of four to five. What the researchers found was that the dogs who maintained a more fit conformation lived two years longer. What that means is, if you feed your dog right, you and your dog will share two extra years of life together. I look forward to seeing you on other pages of the website.